Here we go. Okay, thanks. Hi, I'm Stephanie Way, and I'm here at the Tour Championship with Peter Jacobson, who was the 2013 Payne Stewart Award winner. And I can't think of a better person that exemplifies character, integrity, and sportsmanship than you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great honor. Payne was a extremely close friend of mine. We played. I probably played more golf in practice rounds and tournament rounds with Payne than any other player because we. We'd like to we'd like to gamble a little bit, play some competitive games, but we'd also like to have a lot of fun. We would uh, we played the shootouts. They used to have shootouts on Tuesday. We'd do clinics together. I wouldn't dress like he would. <laughs> I couldn't pull it off. I didn't have the game to pull off the uh -huh. you know the, the bozo the clown right. look. But he uh, he was um, he was a special guy and a, and a great friend. Yeah, and I was talking to Lee about this earlier. My generation, we didn't really know pain. I mean, I looked up to him. I was a fan, and I actually do. It did affect me in a way when I remember hearing the news about the plane crash and you know the fact that it did touch me without even really knowing him and just kind of as a junior golfer. I mean, what can you tell us about him? You know, for someone from my generation, you know, that didn't follow him as closely or didn't know him as well. Like, what's your favorite story? Well, I'll, I'll tell you just to start. I'll say this: if I could pick players that you're familiar with and give you an idea of what pain was like. I would say that first and foremost, the, the intensity and the competitive nature of Tiger Woods. When he was stalking a putt, when he was trying to hit a shot, chomping the gum, always chomping gum, but he could stare, th he could stare through anybody when he's trying to win. Right. He had the fun laugh like a Fuzzy Zeller or a Lee Trevino. Mm -hmm. he, could find, he could find humor in any moment. And he had that friendly, gregarious nature with the fans like Phil Mickelson. He would stand and sign autographs by the hour and not complain about it. Some guys sign autographs and then complain about it. So he had that, he was like Tiger, he was like Phil, he was like Trevino or Fuzzy with the fans. Um, so it kind of gives you an insight. But package that all together in one guy yeah. and you got Payne Stewart. But, but, uh, I, I think about pain every time I get to a golf course, especially on the Champions yeah. Tour. I think about pain playing with us on the Champions yeah. Tour, and, and how much fun it would be, and how much fun he would have. Yeah. Do you have a specific favorite story or fun yeah. anecdote you could share? G P G R. We can what go PG no. thirteen. You know. <laughs> I'll tell you the one story that was fun and has nothing to do with golf. Like when that. we were recording our first record, we had a little rock and roll band called Jake Travel Flounders. Oh, right. Yep, with Payne Stewart, Peter Jacobson, Mark Lai, and Larry Rinker. When we recorded our first record, we were done with everything except Payne's part. He had to come in and he played harmonica oh, for the okay. harp. So he came in, he flew in from Orlando to Tallahassee. I picked him up at the airport. We went to the studio. He went in and laid down his tracks, and they were terrible. Terrible. I said, Payne, what are you going to do? And he said, Let's go to the store. We went to the 7-Eleven, bought a six-pack of beer, uh -huh. went back to the studio, and he drank, I think, four or five beers in 20 minutes. Oh, good. Yeah. So another 20 minutes goes by, and he slurred his words. He said, I'm ready. He took a chair into the recording studio, put his sunglasses on, kicked his chair back, and nailed it. You know, it doesn't, doesn't alcohol doesn't help. A little liquid yeah, encouragement yeah, is what exactly. it was. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, I was chugging some wine in the back while Were you? Before you. this? Were you yeah, nervous? Yeah, I was very nervous. You know, you're well, very intimidating. Well, here. you're intimidating. When I get yeah. done, I'm going to go chug <laughs> five or six beers myself. Well, thanks so much. You bet. And congratulations again. Good to see you, too.